So we were heading to the airport and the hops were sent yesterday afternoon. They were picked yesterday and sent in the afternoon. They're on dry ice. So they have not, but they are here. So I've been tracking them all through the night. I was up at one tracking them. I was up at four, I was, tracked them again at six, still hadn't arrived. And then at, uh, they went all the way to Memphis, Tennessee to some, I don't know why, to some FedEx sorting station down there. And I was freaking out because there's a hurricane down there right now. <laughs> So they're going through a tropical storm. I thought they got to get into Memphis. It's got to get out of Memphis. So at 6.52 this morning, they arrived at the sorting station in Calgary. So they're here, thank God. So we mashed in at 4.30 this morning. So it's, I mean, it's happening. It's, uh, if, if they're not released by customs. Okay, so it's cleared customs. So this is all good. Ah. <laughs> awesome. Cascades. Oh, they're still nice and moist. Mm. So why are you guys using the cheesecloth? Because we're gonna make tea bags. So we're we're gonna do three different different additions into the brew kettle. And, uh, I mean, we'll just plug up the pumps and the exit from the, the outlet to the brew, from the brew kettle with lots of they're just loose in there. So we're going to make tea bags for each edition, try and get them in as loose as we can. So that's the equivalent. Three kilograms of pellets, roughly, is the equivalent to these whole hops here which is roughly about 15 kilograms. Okay, batter done. So wet hopping is, it's wet hop ales I should say, are a style of beer that's been made probably for about 15 years now. I mean, I imagine they, you know, they were made hundreds of years ago too, but uh, Sierra Nevada made these beers famous probably about 15 years ago in the United States. The unique thing for us is this it doesn't happen very often in Canada. There's a lot of uh, brewers in the Pacific Northwest that are doing wet hop ales right now but they're right in the middle of hop country, where we are not. And we have to get this, these hops overnighted within 24 hours, through, through customs, avoid the sniffing dogs, all that kind of stuff. It, it's just a trickier process and, and very difficult to get these hops and, and them still be fresh the way that they are today when we put them in this group. Wet hop, normally when you hop a beer, you would take, they would take hops from the vine and they would put them into a kiln to dry them and then they would pelletize them. Nowadays they're all pelletized, they're, they're sealed under an inert gas so that they can store well for the next year. And they're still very high quality but they've not seen a kiln. Wet hopping, we take it right off the vine, we bring, they put it and then bring it right to the brew cup. So they're still green, they're very wet and it, it, you don't get the bitterness that you would get from regular hopping, but it imparts an aroma and a grassy, fresh flavor in the beer that is just totally, uh, I couldn't describe it, you have to have one. So uh, we're pretty excited about this and it looks like everything fell together perfectly for us and, and it's, it's a big success. So we are heading to the airport. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> 
I don't think he started it. You're in reverse, you can't start car in reverse. Can I start that one? <laughs> okay, I am so friggin' excited. <laughs> 